Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. If you're new here, the Rideshare Hub is a channel all about being a better rideshare driver and making money. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Before we get started in the video, if you're interested in becoming a Lyft or Uber driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, make sure you use links in the description below to sign up. So today's video, I'm going to talk to you about 10 of the things that I learned as an Uber and Lyft driver. So as with anything in life, you know, you're constantly learning things, uh, not only how to do a job better, but actually internally as well, uh, like growth and things like that. So I'm going to talk to you about a few things that I learned as a driver. So some of the things I learned about the industry itself, um, you know, first, how much the rideshare uh, is actually disrupting the industry, uh, both for cabs and soon car manufacturers. Uh, if you are a Uber or Lyft driver uh, or rideshare driver for any platform, you'll know pretty much what's going to be happening uh, or you can get a sense of, of what's going to be happening in the future. Uh, car ownership is going to be different um, and it definitely has destroyed the cab industry. Uh, so it's it's really changing the game on a lot of things. Uh, so it's definitely a disruptor for uh, a, a number of different things. Number two, how many people actually rely on this on either a weekly a daily basis so people are starting to give up their keys just like they're giving up their cable uh, and using streaming services uh, it's the same exact kind of thing so it's it's changing that game a little bit more uh, number three how it's actually helped the elderly keep their independence uh, after having to give up their keys with the elderly it's a little different because uh, it's not necessarily a choice that they want to give up their vehicle uh, and give up driving. Uh, but unfortunately, because they're older and they don't have the reaction times or whatnot, uh, then they have to give up their keys. Uh, and then, you know, one of the big things I've noticed when I give rides to the elderly is uh, they feel like they're a burden to their family and friends asking for uh, to go to the doctors, to go out shopping, uh, whatever it might be. So it's actually really cool to see uh, how Uber and Lyft is actually helping them keep their independence. As a bonus also for, for the industry itself, it's how people are using it and why people are using it. Uh, you know, it's not just the drunk service that, that people uh, think about it some, sometimes. People rely on it on a, a very big basis. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool to see that. Now, some things that helped uh, while driving with me and, and growing uh, for myself you know, I'm, those are going to be pretty much the next uh, few topics. Uh, so number four, you know, you learn to read situations better. Uh, you're going to also learn to avoid certain things and embracing others to keep a person uh, in line instead of getting out of control. Uh, you know, there could be a lot of things that are happening. As I've said before uh, on different videos that I drive mostly at night, so you're dealing with a lot of drunk people, you know, you're dealing with people who aren't in the same mind as if they're sober. Uh, so there's definitely a few things uh, where you can read the situations on people. You understand that much better. Uh, you know how to handle uh, somebody or something where if you feel that it's going to get out of control, you can bring it back to control. Or if you feel something getting out of hand, you can kind of rope it back and, and change the entire demeanor of that. So it's definitely a right way where you can learn to read that situation. Number five, how to handle myself. Uh, also, you need to know how to handle yourself and how to be able to control situations uh, and how you're going to react to something. Uh, so it's definitely a, a great way on handling your own self, uh, both on a quick emotion, reactive way, uh, or just in general. Number six, you ha learn how to have better conversations and listen to others better. Uh, you're in a vehicle, a very close quarters with people uh, for oh, maybe only a few minutes to, to maybe up to an hour, just depending on what's what's going on, where the ride's going. So you your paths are crossing for those few minutes and, and you're in a very... Uh, uh, intimate zone with people. So you're, you're going to most likely be conversing with those people. Um, and yeah, it really helps you uh, become a better listener because not only are you focused on the road, but they're talking to you. So you're listening to them as well. Um, and then being able to uh, just carry the conversation and, and show an interest in what they're saying. Uh, so it just helps you converse much better. Uh, number seven, how to navigate the area much better. Uh, you know, I, I'm from Buffalo, New York. It's it's a small downtown area, but it's very sprawling. 
so there's a lot of areas around, a lot of suburbs around, uh, and there, there's people that don't go that live in north of the city that don't go uh, south of the city uh, very often, if if much ever. Um, and being a driver, you're going all over the place. So it's really cool to see the area uh, that you don't normally see uh, and see different places you don't normally go. Um, and that's pretty much what number eight is as well, is seeing other parts of the area than just what you're used to, which gives you more of an appreciation for the area. Um, so, you know, if there's there's a bar that you're picking people up that just looks like it's a really cool spot that you didn't even know about uh, because you don't normally travel there, uh, you can go check that out. Same thing with restaurants, um, different different play, venues for uh, like art or um, many different things uh, you can really check out and see. So that's pretty cool. Number nine, uh, it showed me some of my weaknesses and then I took that and kind of help them become strengths um, or at least work on them to become stronger. Uh, so it shows you different areas where you can definitely improve as a person. Uh, so that's always a really cool thing. And number 10, how fun it is. Um, being a rideshare driver is actually really fun. Uh, you might have a little uh, misconception at the beginning or, or misknowledge at, at the beginning, but once you get over that learning curve, you know, it's, it's really fun and you can really embrace it and take it to where you want it to be. Um, like I always say too, is you're in control of the situation. So you can kind of control whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad, whether you're going to be happy, sad, mad, angry, whatever it could be. Uh, so you can, can internalize that and definitely make yourself, uh, feel happier and, and, know how fun it actually can be. All right, guys, so that was 10 things that I learned, uh, both about the industry itself and just things about me and uh, how I can handle certain situations and different things like that. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, if you're interested in becoming an Uber or Lyft driver, make sure to lose, use the links in the description below and subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out my channel, Real Rideshare Stories, where we show actual rideshare stories as they happen. And this has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. See you next time.